My name is Koga Kazuya. I'm 27 years old this year. I was co-managing a company with my best friend, Waruki Zuru, who I've known since high school. How you doing, Kazuya? Oh, good morning, Waruki. Hey, just call me Zuro. Zuro is a really kind guy who's even nice to dull people like me. It was Zuro who brought the idea of starting a company. We'll do fine. It'll work out. If you say so. Zuro pulled me along who's negative and lacks energy. Thanks to that, I was able to live a fulfilling life. I was really grateful to Zuro. Koga-san, the materials you asked for already. Already? As expected of Morikami-san. She's an employee called Morikami Hitomi. She's extremely talented and she helps me out a lot. Wow, it's really well done. In such a short time, as I thought, you're amazing, Morikami-san. No, it's nothing special. By the way, where's Waruki-san? Zuro? He's out on sales. Again? I'm not good at that sort of thing. All well, thanks to Zuro. Koga-san, you really... What? It's nothing. A few hours later... Alright, that's it for today. You're fast today! I have some plans from now on. So, Morikami-san, you can finish up when you're done. Is it a girlfriend? Yeah. I'm glad you seem to be getting along well. Oh, thanks. Hmm? Is she in a bad mood? I remember being cut off by Morikami-san's bad mood. But the time for our meeting was approaching, so I left the office. Sorry I'm late. You're so late. Sorry, sorry. I came as fast as I could. She's my girlfriend, Dememi. She's always cheerful, and just being around her makes me feel energized. I met her at a drinking party I attended for work-related reasons. Koga-san, you're my type. Is that so? I'm a bit timid and a novice when it comes to romance. But thanks to her taking the initiative, our relationship deepened quickly. As an apology, take me somewhere nice today. Yeah, of course. I've already booked a nice place. I was blessed with good friends and a good girlfriend, and I was really happy. Or I should have been. A few weeks later... I decided to go out with him. So, your company your girlfriend are mine now. You're no longer needed. What? What's going on? I've always hated you, you know? Pretending to be friends. Pretending to be friends? We've been friends since high school. Don't get the wrong idea. I was just being friendly because it was convenient. You were good at studying, so you were useful for things like copying test questions and assignments. What? That's why I invited you to start the company. I only invited you because you seemed like a useful worker. But you acted like you were my equal. Uh... Didn't you ever wonder why someone like you was my business partner? Ah, I really got deceived. What do you mean you got deceived? I heard from Zuro that you're incompetent. I was fooled into thinking you were a great guy. 
I do my job properly. But all you do is half-hearted work. No matter how much you look at it, Zuro-san is a better man than you, and he said he'd make me a partner too. So, you're demoted to being employee. We've known each other since high school, after all. I got you a job that suits you, so you should be grateful. Work for us at the best of your ability. My mental state had dropped to the lowest point possible after being betrayed by my best friend and lover at the same time. My thoughts kept going in the wrong direction. You're probably right. Things had been going too well up until now. From now on, I should do as they say and do my best for them. That's right. From now on. But just then... That's enough! Please stop being so unreasonable! What? Murakami-san? What's with you? It's none of your business! It is my business, because Koga-san, I... What about me? Um, anyway, I can't accept that. I don't care whether you accept it or not. I'm your employer, after all. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm going to quit, then. I've never liked you from the start, anyway. Do what you want. Let's go, Koga-san. What? <laughs> what are you saying? He's one of our employees. The only one who's going anywhere is you who quit. That's right. You've got to repay the favor to me who went out with you. Right, Kazuya? Koga-san. Uh... Murakami-san's eyes were very earnest, but even more so, they were strong. I'm going to quit too. Huh? Stop being selfish! You're the one being selfish. Let's go, Murakami-san. Koga-san! Hey, stop messing around! Zuro and Dememi were saying something, but I ignored them and ran out of the office. Murakami-san and I trudged through the nighttime streets. Ah, <sighs> I had no idea that they were like that. I knew that Waruki-san was just playing around when he said he was going for sales. What? Really? That's right. He just pushes all the work onto you and does whatever he wants with the company's expenses. I've never seen him do any work. The same goes for his girlfriend. She's a woman you'd expect to be at that level, even if you've only ever heard about it. I can't believe you've been able to go out with those two for so long. Right. You should have told me. What would happen if I had? What? I'm sure you would have said not to talk bad about your friend or girlfriend. Well, that's true. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing, Murakami-san? Because I knew that you were being used by those two, but I didn't do anything. I felt really bad just watching, but... I didn't want you to hate me. What? So I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I didn't know I was making you feel that way. Besides, I'm grateful to you. What? If you hadn't stood up for me there, I think I would have just gone along with them. It's thanks to you that I've managed to get away from them. Olga-san. And more importantly, it's about what to do from now on. First, I need to find somewhere to live. Where to live? 
I can't go back to living with the Memi again. Maybe I'll stay at a hotel for a while. No, I think about the future. Maybe it's better to save money by going to a manga cafe. Oh, if that's the case, would you like to come to my place? What? It, because, you know, that's the best way to save money if you think about the future. That would certainly be helpful, but is that okay with you? I'd prefer that. You'd prefer that? Oh, I made a mistake. That's fine. And so, I was going to stay at Murakami-san's house. Uh, excuse me. Please make yourself at home. It smells really good. The night passes with an awkward atmosphere. I'm going to sleep on the sofa, so please use the bed. What? No, I'll sleep on the sofa. You can't do that, you're the guest. You're the host, Murakami-san. Please use the bed. After that, we continue to make a compromise, and as a result... How did it end up like this? Good night. Uh, yes. Good night. Of course I couldn't sleep. The next day... We both had matching dark circles under our eyes. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, the kami song couldn't sleep either. I immediately ran to buy some bed equipment. Anyway, thanks to Murakami-san, I had a place to live. Next, I had to earn money for our immediate living expenses. So I decided to look for a part-time job, but... That's no good. What? Why? Because it's a waste of time. Koga-san, you're a special person. You should only think about bigger things. But the living expenses... Don't worry about it. I'll earn enough to support the two of us. As Murakami said, the next day she found a job and started working. Not only that, she even took care of things like cooking and cleaning. I'll do that. No, Koga-san. Please just concentrate on the things you need to do. But... And... I'm really happy right now. Uh... So please don't worry about it. Y yes To be honest, I didn't think I was a special person like Morikami-san said. I've always been a quiet person. I'm not good at asserting myself. And I don't have anything that makes me confident. But... Morikami-san believes in me. I decided to do my best to live up to her expectations and work on my ideas. I'll try many different things and put my time and effort into things that I feel are worthwhile. First, I'll work as a sole proprietor. And then, I'll incorporate once I start making a certain amount of profit. It'll be a gradual process, but it'll steadily increase my business. In just a few months, you've come this far, Koka-san. I've come this far thanks to Morikami-san's support. No, no, I didn't do much. That's not true. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Koka-san. When everything seemed to be going smoothly, I suddenly got a call from Zuro. 7 p.m. tomorrow. Don't be late. What do you want? It doesn't matter. Just do as you're told. I've got things to do. He hung up. 
And the next day, when I went to the place where I called in... We're getting married! Yay! Is that why you called me here? You're so gloomy! It's a happy occasion! Why don't you be more happy? I shouldn't have come. Is that it? Wait, don't panic! That brought you some good news! Actually, since you left, the company's performance has gone through the roof. I became the joint owner instead of you. It's to be expected. Oh, good for you. So, what are you gonna do? What am I going to do? If you apologize for what happened the other day, and you really want to work for us, we could hire you. It's not a bad offer, is it? Are you serious? <sighs> Fed up. No thanks. Huh? Why? We're making a good offer! I think it's useless to talk anymore. I ignored the two of them who were making a fuss and went back to Morikami-san. I really shouldn't have come. I was hoping that maybe they would have reflected on what they've done. I'm embarrassed that I was hoping that they might be sorry. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. But I'm still in quite a shock. I can imagine. Ugh. Huh? What's wrong? I'm sorry. Thinking about how you still like Damemi-san. What? Oh, no. That's not why I'm shocked. It's not because the Memi got married. It's just that I had this strange hope that they might be sorry. But you must still like her a little. No way! I wouldn't be hurt because Dememi got married. I hadn't even thought of that until you told me, because I... What? Thanks to this, we became much closer. I guess I should be grateful to Dememi for this. Then, about a half a year later... On the way home from a meeting where we had reached an important agreement... Oh! I got a call from Dememi. 23 calls in total at that. I wonder what happened? Who knows? Oh, here it is again. You don't have to worry about me. I'm also curious as to why she's calling. Hello? You finally answered! Help! Do something about this! What? You're being so abrupt. You're so slow! You should understand immediately when I explain! No, you haven't explained anything. Ah, it seems like she hasn't changed at all. Then I heard about the Memi situation. But I had a hard time understanding it. It seems that after we left the company, the company's performance started to go downhill. Not only the business partners, but also the employees left one another now that it seems the company is running a large deficit every month. So do something about it! You can do something about it, can't you? This happened when you left the company in the first place. You need to take responsibility. What kind of messed up logic is that? How is it messed up? We said we'd hire you as an employee about six months ago. If you'd just come back then, it would have been fine. Oh, so that's what that was about. The company must have already been on the skids by then. But they hid that for me as their pride wouldn't allow it. So, they lied and said things were going well and said they hired me if I wanted to. It's frightening how they really think that would work. Sorry, but I'm not going to help you. On the contrary, I'm starting to prepare for a lawsuit. What lawsuit? About well, being arbitrarily removed as a partner. At the time, I didn't have the time or money to sue, but now I do. But screw you! Why 
Why should we, the victims, be sued? The memory was ranting about something, but I ignored her and hung up. Then I really did sue the two of them. I won the case easily and was awarded compensation. That was the final straw, and Zuro's company went bankrupt. I was afraid of the resentment, but since I haven't heard from them, I guess they're so desperate they don't have the time or energy to contact me. From what I've heard, they've borrowed money from some pretty shady people and are being pushed into a corner. Well, it has nothing to do with me. But, I don't hate them either. It's just that I don't have the time to be bothered by them. That's because... I'll do that. You must be tired from work. You need to rest a little. It's fine, Hatomi. You need to rest a little while. It's not just your body anymore. I'm only in the second month, and I don't need to rest that much. But I want to do it, since you supported me so much. I want to support you. Aw, you always take on the hard work. S sorry <laughs> Don't apologize. I like you like that. Because I have two people I have to protect before anything else. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And don't forget to check out our other episodes too. According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching! See you next time!